Happy Monday, crafty friends. I, y'all know I love this die, right? So I was thinking, why couldn't I make it a 3D? And you can, and it's so easy. And I haven't seen anybody do this. They may have, and I may have missed it, and if so, I apologize. However, I'll, I just think this is so stinking cute, and so I wanted to come on right quick and show y'all. Now, this is this was my prototype, and y'all can see it'll fall flat, go in an envelope. Um, and I haven't decorated it yet, but I'm going to. I even have Ophelia. She's going to be running this stand. <laughs> so, I don't know what kind of stand it's going to be yet. But anyway, so what I wanted to do was show you how I did it. Okay, so this time I picked out this gingham paper. And I cut it out. I only had enough to cut three of them out. And I really, it's, um, I don't even know if it's 65 or not. But anyway, so I wanted to double it up. So I, I have three of them. So I cut an extra one for the fourth one. So let's glue those together. And we'll talk about... So, you could make these thinner than this one. You can make it thicker than this one. Um, it's all according to how big that piece of paper, these pieces of paper are. Um, and you know what? If I made it smaller, if I made the open part smaller, let's see. Let me see here what kind of measurements. I was trying to see if I could get it into an A2 card. Um, it wouldn't be two dimensional. It'd be about half, have about half that space. But it could be done. Now it'll have to go in a five by seven or five by five, something like that. Of course that doesn't bother me because it's gonna have, you know, I'm gonna glue stuff at different points so that it pops up, you know, and looks like the stand is full of stuff. So, that's fine with me. Okay, so, I'm gluing. Um, so, I decided, so on this first one, I took the part that popped out of here, and I just scored it at a quarter inch on, two in, on the ends, you know. And I use that. And that worked great. Um, but it wasn't a, it was like a wonky measurement. So this time I measured it, my these pieces at two by two and a half. So, you know, that gives you a little something more to go on. So this is all you do. This is my back piece. You score them on either end. Okay, glue it. This one goes close to the edge. And you could also use score tape. And I just eyeballed this, you know. And if you wanted to be precise, you could measure out your space and do that, but I find this worked just fine for me. Okay. Now this one I'm going to turn back this way because I don't want, you know, I want it to be neat on either side. push. Turn them to the side. I like it. I like it. I like it. And then I'm going to glue this. And in, in just a matter of minutes you can make one of these. And then the decorating part 
you know, that's wide open. I was thinking how cute would this one be? Like a watermelon stand? You know, because I love this gingham here. And with, with watermelon and watermelon slices all around, you know. How cute would that be? Okay, so what I'm trying to do is get these to stand up pretty straight. Then, I'm going to first watch the ends because those are the ones that I want to be extra pretty. And I can cut a little piece of, um, well, if I had a piece, I could, of this gingham and, um, whoa, and cover the, the sides, you know. If y'all don't have any Dollar Tree clips, you know, any kind of clip will do. But I do love myself a Dollar Tree clip. Okay. So. Alright. So now I'm going to make sure that it folds like I want it to. And it does, but I had, they came undone. So, I'm going to stick it back in there. I'm going to clamp it down. So, here we go, and we know it'll fold, so that's good. So I'm just going to hold this right here for just a second. I used um, Nouveau Glue, and it dries pretty quick and makes a strong bond, so I'm good there. I think that's probably all it needs. There you go. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? And it could fold either way. I just pulled that glue off. But anyway, isn't that fun and easy? So if y'all have this die, there's you another way to use it. Um, I bought the die. It was not given to me to do anything with, but I absolutely love it. And so y'all know how. If I love something, I gotta share it with y'all. So... I mean, Ophelia doesn't look real good against that. You know, I have to make her another color, but. <laughs> All right. So, there is my share. Now, I'll come back and um, and decorate it and do a 15-minute. All right. Love you guys. Blessings.